Well, it's Bank Holiday Monday and I'm very, very excited because I am stuck in my car in a queue outside Wallingham Boot Fair. I'm excited because I'm not at Hook Road Arena, my usual one. I've sort of told myself I'm going to get out to a few other ones. Yesterday I went to the A3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a whole of what I got yesterday, which was quite a bit of stuff, varied stuff real varied stuff from the whole spectrum of reselling um so i'm going to show you that and then i'm probably going to do a part two which i've sort of never done this sort of thing before the sequel uh, which will be the haul for this uh, car boot um i'll try and do a bit of filming around if i can but uh, i do find that if i've got the camera on it does hurt the deals so i you may get a few scenic shots and stuff like that but Got some good stuff yesterday, and fingers crossed, I'm going to get some good stuff today. I've been a bit cheeky. They said buyers don't turn up till half seven. Here I am at quarter past six, but um, no one's arrested me yet, so I think I'm all right. Well, I thought I'd better do some filming while I'm here, because uh, people like to see boot fairs for some reason. But um, I've been round three times now, and uh, this last sort of scoot round, I haven't got anything, so I think I'm going to pop home. And go through but it's, it's a nice boot fair not a lot of gaming stuff which is um a3 yesterday was a lot of game stuff going around um but it is all sort of normal sellers not traders so it's quite nice so there we go there we, there it is we are at the rugby club okay i'm just uh, doing some photographs and researching prices so i'm going to go through everything i got at the a3 um wallpaper normally i would only get sort of crown 70s wallpaper if i can get it that stuff is really really nice to get but Laura Ashley, obviously a little bit desirable as well. Um, this whole lot cost me 15. Uh, there is someone trying to sell three rolls for 35 quid. So I'm hoping to get 54.99 on this. Might have to bring it down to 50 or maybe even less. Uh, four rolls plus a pretty much complete roll. Um, yeah, fingers crossed for that one. A couple of ball games. I've had this one before. Uh, I've picked this up for a couple of quid before, but uh, this time... Originally he wanted a tenner for this and I think he wanted 25 for this one. Um, I researched this one while I was at the boot fair. It's, it's off a guy who uh, I always struggle trying to get like a good deal off him. Because obviously you've got to buy it to sell it to make a profit. And even though it's like a desirable thing you know, that you might want to have, um, buying it for 25 and that for 10 is not going to make me any money at all. In the end I got um, that for five. I think I bought the two of them for 20 quid. And that kind of gives me a chance. Um, that's got some balls missing as well. Um, this, there's not uh, sold on eBay, but people are trying to sell it for a, a roundabout kind of 35-ish. So I'm hoping to get like maybe 35, 40 on that, and maybe 15 on that. Um, but yeah, the box is, is knackered, so that needs a bit of a repair. So not a great deal of money on it, um, but got it hopefully just to make a little bit. Here's a lovely little uh, PSP haul, and I didn't spot it. It's Luke who spotted this, and he kind of let me have it. I was busy having a good old whinge and a moan at him about the fact that everybody else was picking up all the gaming stuff. And because I was so busy moaning, I didn't spot that a lady had got this out. Um, and she also had a red PSP. Luke had that one, a really nice red PSP, actually. Um, so I'm very grateful that he let me have it. If you're obviously feeling sorry for me. But it is swings and roundabouts sometimes. Um, I was at a stall and a guy had about 130 quid's worth of uh, Warhammer figures. And I could have bought them, but uh, really not my area of expertise. So I rang Happy Chup up and he hot-tailed it over. Um, <laughs> sorry, I saw him leg it over to the stall. And he bought it because it really is his thing. And I'm sure that, you know... I don't know if he came across uh, maybe some Spectrums or Commodore stuff that he put in my way. So it is all sort of about helping out other resellers as well. You can't always get absolutely everything. It's a little bit of give and take. But very pleased with this. I, I don't think I've ever sold like games individually. So I don't know whether I'll bundle them. But this is certainly nice to have. And it was absolute bargain price as well. And now for something completely different. Tupperware. Which... I haven't picked it up for a long time. I used to, you know, like picking up this sort of thing. Um, I think it was like six quid or something, six, seven quid. It was in two batches. So was, everybody else was picking up gaming and I'm going around with a carry bag full of Tupperware, feeling very inadequate. But it should sell well. Um, I don't quite know how I'm going to split it up. Probably, I, I don't know if it will be individually. But yeah, always worth getting if you can get it cheap. So um, pleased with that one. Now we have a bit of a 
Is it a fail? I don't know. I was a little bit annoyed because I bought this baby carrier. What's it called? It's a bush baby, which I have heard of. And I thought, absolutely fantastic. Got it for a fiver. Very happy. And, you know, a bit of a pain, like, oh, my God, how am I going to pack it? It's got the uh, sun shade canopy. But then got it home and it does have damage like that on both sides. Now, it could still sell for maybe, you know, a, a profit. I, I, I'll have to look at the online price. It could still sell for 20 quid. I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty sure they can go for like 50, 60, 70 if, if it's all looking in good condition. I have had one before a long time ago, but just a little bit disappointing that I didn't spot that. But it did only cost a fiver, so uh, not a lot of damage done. Okay, on some toys. This was um, off the same lady, and I think the whole lot cost me a fiver. Um, these three are Bandai... I don't think Megazord, but they're, they're, they're Bandai toys. Um, I've had this one before. I bought a whole load of Megazord stuff, and this one took ages to sell and didn't actually sell for that higher price, but maybe better luck next uh, this time. Um, this one I've just done a quick image search on because I couldn't actually see Bandai um, written on the thing, but it looks like eBay there's someone trying to sell one for around about 30 35 um, and with all of these, I'm going to have to check whether all the parts are there. Um, the reason I bought this without the back part is that I've already got one and the voice box doesn't work. And um, this one does work. What I didn't realise is there's two different versions of this. There's, there's one version where three buttons work and the middle button is, um, or this button is uh, phrases. But on this one, it's only two buttons that work, these two buttons, and you get a breathing effect and the microphone so i think it's an earlier version so if you ever get this and you think oh one of the buttons is stuck uh, do bear in mind that there are different versions of that right whole batch of electronics um all under a five a five or under i think um this one i would never normally pick up uh digital photo frames but i saw jay picking one up um on a video he did and he said yeah not not too bad as uh, Kodak ones to go for apparently so uh, we'll give that a go first time for me the only reason I picked this up because it had the uh, power supply with it um, I think it cost me two quid the reason I'm doing that is because I've got a box one without the power supply so <laughs> I'm still going to end up with a, a clock but there we go uh, you do these things uh, camera that was on its own I think that was just a couple of quid looks in good condition obviously I haven't got the charger it's video 8 so yeah, eight millimeter video camcorder is worth having. This is a bit disappointing because it's absolutely unused, new in box, and not been used at all. Weird thing is, I can turn it on into a sort of setup mode, but when I turn it on normally and do anything with it, it turns off automatically. So a little bit disappointing, um, but there are a few that have sold on eBay, spares and repairs for 35. So I don't really know what that's about. Um, who knows? And then a couple of Kindles, um, Fire Nines. That one, touchscreen doesn't work. And this one has got a slight crack in the case. I think I could probably still sell that one. If it's easy to switch the back, I might do that. And the little iPod Nano, um, that was a fiver. Haven't tested it yet. If it works, um, that's good money. If it doesn't, it's probably a little bit made on spares repairs, but not very much. But it is, you know, in good nick and a small little thing. Well, it wouldn't be a pickup without some trainers. So Converse um, and these Asics, all a fiver each. Fiver seems to be like the standard price. I used to try and pick up shoes or trainers for around like two or three quid. Can't really be done these days. So you're looking at a fiver. So all I just make sure is that the condition's there. And, you know, these might sell for 20 to 30, maybe a touch less if the condition isn't there. The Shield, again, in good condition, £5. Royal Air Force, pretty you know, generic, it should be a good demand for that. And the Namco gun, I think, was three quid. And um, I picked up a time crisis on the PS1 yesterday, so I will be able to test that, hook it up to a CRT television and um, have a little game of time crisis. Right, one more thing, and it's a whole load of retro gaming goodies. OK, so it's obviously saved the best till last, and a whole load of you know, handheld consoles from the early 80s, 
I had this one and I had this one. I had um, Game & Watch Snoopy Tennis as well, which I'm dying to pick up boxed, but uh, hopefully won't have to pay through the nose for it. These three uh, were got at the A3 uh, off a guy. He had loads and loads of gaming stuff, but his prices were pretty steep. He wanted, I think he wanted 50 quid for a ZX81, which just isn't there on, on the resale value. These three, uh, he was asking 54. I said, look, I can only do a tenner each because they may not work. And, you know, my heart says yes, but my head is saying no. Um, he ended up saying 40. I kind of thought, well, it's less than 15 each, which you'd probably will get that in spares and repairs or more than that in spares and repairs if they didn't work. Thankfully, they all work. It's absolutely fantastic. Put this on and the sound took me right back. Um, this one, it does need a clean on these buttons, but that's no problem at all. Really happy that I've got these two as well, especially this one. Um, there's a little thought on this one. It's got a tiny split in the ribbon, and the ribbon is obviously you know one of the most important bits. But I have managed to sort of do a fix on it using sellotape and conductive paint. To be honest, I'm keeping that anyway, and I'm keeping that because one thing that I do collect is Game & Watch. If I get it, it's small, it can be put away. It's not going to absolutely like, overwhelm me. And, you know, if ever I need to, it, it's, it's such an easy one to sell. So um, they were 25 each and very, very pleased I got them. But um, lovely, lovely retro. I will give these um, a clean, obviously, and I'll probably open them up and give, give all the um, electronic buttons a bit of a clean as well with contact cleaner. But, yeah. Very, very happy that I managed to get those. Hope you enjoyed all that. That was a haul from Sunday. So there's Monday's haul. I've got to do a video for as well. I'll probably release that in a couple of days. Do let me know what your favourite item was and let me know what items you picked up as well over the bank holiday in the comments. Always love reading the comments. So uh, yeah, pop a comment down and also leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Okay, I've got to go ahead and film part two now, another video of bank holiday Monday's haul and You'll see that in a couple of days. Take care and see you soon.